Hi, my name is Aljun Sheng and the title of my mini project is Mini Vending Machine. Before introducing my mini project, I would like to give credit to our lovely lecturer, Madam Nurul Kausa, for giving me a chance to carry out this research. First thing first, allow me to explain what is vending machine. Vending machine is a machine that dispenses items such as snacks, beverages, consumer products, and even gold and gems to customers automatically after the customer inserts a currency or credit into this machine. In this research, our goal is to create a mini vending machine with knowledge learned in embedded systems and help us to understand the advantages and disadvantages of vending machine in economics indirectly with available sources such as Arduino software and Proteus 8 professionals. In this research, we use the components that can be easily found in this market. First, we use 16x2 LCD to display the messages to the user and guide them to use this vending machine. Next, we use DC to DC LM2596 buck converter to step down the voltage from 12V to 5V. Next, we use 4 360 degree continuous servo motor to discharge the item and of course 2 stepper motor NEMA 17 to control the position of the carrier. Next, we use 2 micro switches to control the positioning of the carrier and 4 push button as the selection option. And of course, using 1 Arduino Megabot as the controller center and also 1 infrared sensor to replace the coin detector. As you can see here, this is the schematic diagram of mini vending machine. Before starting the simulation, I would like to introduce some of the components. First, this is the 16x2 LCD to display the messages, and this is the 4 servo motor continuous 360 degree to discharge the item, and this is 2 stepper motor that control the carrier, and this is a 4 push button that I use to act as the selection button and these two push button is to replace the micro switches act as the controlling the position of the carrier and this is the infrared sensor that I use to replace the coin detector in order to simulate the real circuit I put a logic state act as the coin is whether inserted or not okay let us start the simulation so before that I press the play button okay as you can see here the dis display is showing adjusting motor and you can see here this is, is starting to run these two career motor for adjusting the position. To increase the accuracy, I would like to press these two micro switches so that it will adjust to 67.5 degree and positive 135 degree that I set uh, in the program. So this is the loading symbol it will show in the LCD display. Okay, here you can see it show insert a coin. So if we didn't insert a coin, any button that we push it wouldn't triggered any servo motor to discharge any items and even the stepper motor wouldn't run and for trigger this to the next operation I would like to insert the coin here it shows zero so it will trigger the next operation it will show select your item one two three or four so in this simulation I would like to press the first button this is the first so it will trigger the first servo motor so let us start okay it shows delivering as you can see here it will turn 90 degree okay to discharge the item and the stepper motor will run to 22.5 and 315 after the item is delivered it will turn back to 67.5 degree and 135 degree and the item is shown delivered through this research we know that this mini vending machine can be operated 24 hours every day and it helps the companies to target every categories of the people and explore their products to every corner in the city and it also provides job opportunity for the technician but indirectly it also becomes a disadvantage because this mini vending machine requires monthly maintenance to ensure the motors is working well and the system is working good. For the future modification, maybe we can insert a Wi-Fi feature so that every vending machine in the corner of every city can be connected to a database so that the consumer only need to bring a card that can be recognized by every vending machine in and can use it in any time and anywhere. 
In conclusion, we managed to create a mini vending machine by using the knowledge learned in embedded systems and some simple components to build it. Now, we can determine why some of the company is still insisting to use vending machine to promoting their products to the people in every corner of the city because it brings a lot of advantages rather than a lot of disadvantages. Such as, vending machine can be operated 24 hours without hearing any complaints of the workers and also lowering the advertising cost indirectly. So, we can conclude that the vending machine can be done by easily and it brings a lot of advantages. That's all my presentation. Thank you.